Tesla just unilaterally canceled solar orders in some of its biggest markets, including Southern California, Northern California, Oregon, and Florida. Does this mean that the electrical vehicle manufacturer is finally going to exit the solar installation business? We're going to try to answer that question in today's video. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and for the past nine years I've been helping families achieve energy independence using clean, renewable energy. Now, if you're new to the Solar Surge channel, we talk about all things related to home solar power, uh, battery storage systems, and sometimes even generator backup systems as well. We try to cover everything that has to do with the home renewable energy ecosystem, as well as industry news, like today's video here. Now, yesterday, social media was ablaze with reports that Tesla had unilaterally canceled hundreds of in-process solar installations across the country. Uh, and we're talking specifically in some of the largest solar markets, like Los Angeles, Northern California, parts of Oregon, and even Florida. Now the question of course is, why would Tesla be doing this? Does this signal that Tesla is making a strategic departure from the solar installation business, perhaps to focus on other more profitable areas of its business? Uh, or is this just a short-term blip to buy them some, some time to retool and reconfigure before they enter the solar installation business. Now folks, in order to understand this, you have to understand some background about how Tesla ended up in the solar installation business in the first place. And this goes all the way back to 2018 when Tesla acquired what was then called Solar City. Now Solar City was the largest residential solar installer in the US in terms of market share but the company never turned a profit. And so if you go back to the news coverage at that time, uh, the, the prevailing opinion was that Elon Musk came in to bail out his cousin, who was the, the owner CEO of Solar City, uh, to integrate it into Tesla under the new brand, Tesla Energy. Now, this fit in with Elon Musk's overall strategy for Tesla to be the number one renewable energy provider in the world. Uh, and of course, Elon wanted to be completely vertically integrated from the point of pulling the raw materials out of the ground, building the individual components, assembling the systems, installing the systems, and warrantying the systems. He wanted Tesla to be an end-to-end -end, uh, solution and an end-to-end -end provider for renewable energy systems. But the reality is that the Tesla energy division never actually has turned a profit. In fact, losses have been severe, as much as $100 million per quarter uh, since acquiring Solar City, And so the question might be, have Tesla shareholders finally had enough of Tesla energy bleeding resources away from the core business that actually is earning a profit, which is Tesla Automotive or Tesla Motors? Now, as far as my take on it goes, it's, it's this. Uh, I think Tesla is an excellent manufacturing company, and they've done a number of positive things for the solar industry. Number one, increasing awareness about renewable energy, uh, and also increasing awareness about home energy storage. You know, before Tesla got into the game, and this is maybe back in 20, uh, 2012, 2013, when I first got into the solar industry, uh, the, the idea of having a home backup battery was considered a very, a very fringe, sort of very out there idea. There were very few individuals that would consider of investing, putting a battery pack in their garage as a way of protecting their home from a power outage. And so I have to hand it to Tesla. They really did a lot in mainstreaming this idea of, uh, hey, there's technology available now that allows you as a homeowner to be energy independent at the household level. And that involves harvesting your own electricity with solar, uh, as well as being able to store that electricity uh, using battery storage. And so Tesla's done a great job of actually mainstreaming that idea with their flagship Powerwall home battery system. But when Tesla acquired Solar City, now they entered the what well, really is the construction business, right? A solar installation at the end of the day, guys, solar installation is a construction business. Uh, it involves doing engineering designs, applying for permits, sending out and managing construction crews, getting inspections passed. Basically, it's the same process whether you're building a new home, doing a, a remodel or an addition on your home. It is a construction activity. 
And so I always wondered how Elon came out with claims that he was going to have the cheapest solar available, you know, coming from a technology background, when the nature of that service in terms of solar installation really is a construction uh, business. It's a construction activity. And so it looks like Tesla has still not yet figured out how to do solar construction profitably. Now I will tell you, as of this recording, you can still go to Tesla's website and they're advertising some very, very cheap rates as far as solar panel uh, systems for your home. And of course, part of that strategy, according to my understanding, was that they were gonna use technology to remove some of the soft cost and a lot of the human cost in that process. And that's why, for example, they, they fired their entire sales team when uh, Tesla took over Solar City uh, back in 2018. But there's only so much you can do through software and through a website, right? You know, when the rubber hits the road, construction is a physical boots on the ground business. It's a physical boots on the ground activity. It requires construction workers, warehouses, trucks, construction vehicles, tools, and the ability to manage all that and to do that profitably. And so I think what this is, is an indication that Tesla or Tesla Energy may be exiting the installation side of the solar business to focus more on where I think it's, it's, it's strongest and is really having success, which is on the design and the manufacturing of solar equipment. So I don't know exactly where this goes, guys, but we are gonna to continue to follow this issue for you. Um, of course, if you are a homeowner out there and you're in the process of looking at different solar power options for your home, uh, maybe you've got a quote for, from a Tesla system, uh, or maybe you are already under contract with Tesla and you just received notice that your contract has been canceled. Um, if you need to get a comparison quote, uh, as always, feel free to reach out to us on the link below. Uh, it'll just take you to our website where you can schedule a short Zoom call with one of our experts. You see, we do live calls here. We're not just gonna send you to the website to you know, buy everything offline with uh, e-commerce. Uh, we'll actually talk to you for at least 15 minutes on a live call with one of our experts. Then we'll design the system for you and we can send you some pricing and the relevant information. So if that's something that you'd be interested in, again, feel free to reach out to us and we'd be happy to get you some numbers and from in, uh, information. Uh, and guys, of course, if you're getting good value from the information that we publish on Solar Surge, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Uh, and also consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, right now we're trying to get at least two, ideally three videos out for you every week pertaining to relevant solar industry news and new product updates. Well, folks, that does it for today's video. I thank you for taking some time to share with Solar Surge. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.